We're going to go ahead and replace our passenger side upstream O2 sensor. It is located in front of the catalytic converter right here. What I'm going to try and do is disconnect this wiring harness right now first. And I'm going to use a pair of pliers here. I'm just going to press in on this little tab or maybe pinch both sides of this here. And push this up and through. With that wire loose, we're going to go ahead and push this little Christmas tree here up and out. That's going to release the harness up in the top and it'll go ahead and disconnect that connector there. Let's go ahead and grab this unit here, pull that out. And we have our connector right here. We want to push in on this tab and separate the connector here. Now we have our O2 sensor harness loose. I'm going to put our sensor socket on there. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and unthread this here, and we're going to try and spin that harness with it. And we're going to remove that sensor. Let's go ahead and get our sensor lined up. Get to thread it in. Now, as you're threading this in, you want to try and prevent that harness from twisting on itself. So, you want to go ahead and rotate that harness upon installation. You don't want to cause those wires to twist, bind, and possibly break internally. Now that we have that sensor seated, let's go ahead and tighten that down. Once you have that tight, go ahead and remove your installation tool. Let's go ahead and install our harness. Line that up. Snap that together. up in the block here and install our clip. And there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.